Hello, my beautiful butter pecan caramel mocha butterscotch toffee yellow bone red bone light bright beige mocha chocolate bronze curly haired wavy haired straight haired afro haired exotical. Welcome to the Pretty Girl Club. Welcome to the Exoticals United community. Today we will be talking about how to keep yourself on a pedestal as an exotical. A lot of women will try to knock you down off your pedestal. Don't let them do that, sis. Don't ever dull yourself down for anyone. Don't light yourself on fire to keep another person warm. Don't dim your light for other people, sis. You are too beautiful for that. And no matter how hard you try to make yourself invisible, people are going to notice you, okay? You can't hide greatness. It's funny because I love working out and I went to the gym today to do my second workout of the day and there was this unambiguous BW in there and I was just minding my business with my husband using the machines and I had my little cute outfit on and I was wearing my hair wavy and I was looking cute and this BW was just giving me the dirtiest looks the entire time. So I just made my rounds using all the machines in the gym and this BW would just not move from her machine. You know how in the gym you can do a circuit where you use one machine and then you use the next one? This girl would not move from her machine. She was just sitting there for like 30 minutes giving me dirty looks. And it's almost as if she didn't want me to use the workout machine or something. I know I'm probably reaching, I'm probably making assumptions, but I was just like, this is so weird because when the other girl moved, she let the other girl use the machine. But then when I walked over, she wouldn't budge. But you know what? It's all good because I had already ran five miles on the elliptical and I was just there to use the machines. But I ended up going on a hike instead because that's a part of my strategy, ladies. I always have a backup plan. That's how I keep myself on a pedestal. Okay, so that's my first tip. Always have a backup plan. Oh, is the gym crowded today? People want to act funny and they want to use the machines for 45 minutes? This is already my second workout of the day, sweetheart. You're not holding me back from my fitness journey. You can give me all the dirty looks you want. You can try to hog the machines all you want, but I'm still going to keep my body on point. And sometimes, look, I know I'm reaching right now, but sometimes I seriously think some of these women are rooting for us to fail. That's why over here in the Pretty Girl Club, we have to be a little more creative. We have to use more creative strategies to get ahead. Another thing I see exoticals doing is starting their own businesses. Start your own business, ladies. If you're an exotical, you need to have multiple streams of income. How you choose to get your income is your personal business. As long as it's legal and you're keeping yourself safe, you're good. Because a lot of us exoticals can have a hard time in the workplace. They call it the pretty girl curse. And it's funny because the one job that I was ever fired from was a job where my direct boss was an unambiguous BW. She was in her 50s. She was over 400 pounds. No shade towards BBWs, but this woman was not a BBW because she wasn't beautiful. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. She was married to a quote unquote Dusty, and she would always complain about her children and how she hated her life. She would always complain about her hair texture. And I swear to God, you guys, this lady put her hands in the back of my hair to see if it was real. I swear to God. Anyway, so I reported this lady to HR because she eventually started harassing me. And of course, I got fired. But it all worked out because they had to pay me a settlement in the end for wrongful termination. Exotical tax. I made her pay that exotical tax, girl. But that's the thing. If you're a member of the Pretty Girl Club, you know how important it is to keep your money up because it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there and there are women and men who will do everything in their power to try to stop your bags. So make sure you have your savings account nice and stacked. Always have an emergency fund, ladies, because you never know when you're going to come across a person who will try to stop your money. You never know when your boss is going to turn on you. And look, I know I'm reaching, but sometimes it does feel like some of these women are spending their time plotting against us. I hate to say it, but jealousy will make people do crazy things. So always have your savings account stacked. I would recommend having a minimum of $5,000 in your savings account at all times. No excuses. That may sound like a lot to some of you, but I'm keeping it 100. I'm from the suburbs, okay? I'm from the upper middle class. And 5,000 is the minimum that a lot of my friends had in their savings account. Look, I'm trying to give you the game, ladies. Stack that savings up because with $5,000, you can do a lot. You can move away. 
If you're in a domestic violence situation, you can put a down payment on a new apartment with $5,000. You can move across the state or to another state. You can buy a new car in cash with $5,000. You can hire a divorce lawyer with $5,000. You can create a sizable investment portfolio with $5,000. Look, I'm trying to give you the game, Exoticals. I'm trying to help you guys because I want to see us win. I want to see the pretty girls win, okay? I'm not saying you have to have $5,000, but that's my personal minimum. I try to always stay at at least $5K in my personal savings, not my joint savings with my husband but my personal savings. And that's another thing, ladies, your relationship does not save you from everything. What would happen if God forbid something happened to your boyfriend or your husband and you don't have life insurance? Always have money. What if you're 18 years old and you got the opportunity to go to college across the country, but you need money to move to another state? Stack your money. You guys saw what happened to Nene Leake's husband. He recently passed away, and obviously Nene Leakes is rich, so she will be fine. But this same thing happened to one of my friends who was an exotical. Her boyfriend was this Asian guy, and she had a baby with him, but unfortunately he passed away and she didn't have access to any money. I don't want my exoticals to go through that. I want exoticals to be safe and secure. So again, it doesn't matter how you get the money. I don't care if there's a man providing for you or you have a job or a business or a rental property. Just make sure you're stacking some of that money and setting some of it aside and putting it away. Don't touch it. Save it for when you really need it. Save it for when you have a life-changing opportunity. Save your money so you can keep yourself on that pedestal. Another way you can keep yourself on a pedestal as an exotical is to grow your talents. Are you a writer? Write books, write articles, start a blog, use your gifts. Can you sing? Start performing or doing covers on YouTube or TikTok. Exoticals already benefit from pretty privilege, but if you're pretty and talented, woo girl, no one can stop you. Also, if you're ever looking to get into a long-term relationship that leads to marriage, I'm telling you, being talented is very sexy. It's a very attractive quality. Do you know how many girls go crazy over a guy who can sing? Do you know how many guys love it when a girl can dance or sing? Being talented and confident is so freaking attractive. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what your talent is. Use it. I hear some girls saying, all I know how to do is makeup. Okay, well, makeup is still a talent. That means you're good with colors. You're a natural artist. If you know what colors look good on you, that means you probably also know how to dress well. You may also know what hair colors look good on you and all of that. So use your talents. I'm telling you, being talented is very attractive and it's so much fun when you can surprise and entertain people with your talents. Another way to keep yourself on a pedestal is through self-care. Don't get so busy trying to please everyone else that you neglect yourself. Just because you're a bit older or you have kids or you're in a relationship doesn't mean that you have to abuse yourself. Stay healthy, drink your smoothies, eat your salads, and stay on that elliptical. Stay in the gym where you belong. You are helping the pretty girl brand. We already have enough negative stereotypes as exoticals, but one stereotype I love about us is that we are the pretty girls. So let's stay pretty, okay? Take care of your hair, take care of your skin, take care of your bodies. How are you gonna travel the world and be successful if you're sick in the bed all the time from being unhealthy? Keep your health up, ladies. Do you know how many jealous women there are that would love to see you looking ugly? Do you know how many jealous women would love to call you mediocre or make fun of your weight or your skin or your hair? Don't let them have the satisfaction of doing that. If you're happy with how you look, then that's fine. But if you feel like you could use a few improvements, then go ahead and improve yourself. There's nothing wrong with working on yourself. Right now I'm saving up my money and once my personal savings passes $10,000, I am going to get a high-end beauty treatment. I won't use my savings money for the treatment, but I will definitely use some money in my checking account for something. That's how I motivate myself to save more. I'll save up money for a few months, and once I have a good amount saved and I want to treat myself, I will. Sometimes I'll take a trip out of the country. Other times I'll get a high-end beauty treatment and go to a spa, and that's what we should be doing. We need to be motivating ourselves to become better. That's the thing about exoticals. We are always improving ourselves here in the Pretty Girl Club. No one is perfect. 
Yes, it's nice to have a man who treats you well and provides, and of course my husband does that as well, but sometimes I also want to treat myself. I mean, hey, the more the merrier. In the neighborhood I live in, I see a lot of the women getting cool sculpting and PRP facials. I also see women getting eye tip extensions and even hair transplants. Some women get teeth whitening, so always keep your self-care game on point. Don't spend all of your money on these loser guys who don't know how to treat you. Save up your money, pay off your debt, make sure your bills are paid, and when you become financially successful, do something nice for yourself. The next way to keep yourself on a pedestal is to stop settling. Don't settle for abusive men, don't settle for fake friends, don't settle for anything less than what you feel you deserve. Don't let people disrespect you and treat you like trash. You're worth more than that. Learn some new skills. Get a better job if you need to. Take care of yourself. Get a better man if you feel like the one you have isn't treating you right. And finally, use your pretty privilege to your advantage. If you got it, flaunt it. Stay classy with it, of course, but hey, I can see why women get jealous over exoticals with pretty privilege. I've been offered a job before because the lady in HR said that she liked my outfit. I've received modeling contracts and all kinds of ways to make an income. So ladies, use that pretty privilege and combine it with your natural talents. Are you a model? Get on Instagram. Make that money. Start emailing those brands. Get those brand deals. Are you a public speaker? Put on that gorgeous suit and go book yourself a speaking gig. Are you beautiful and smart? Apply for that promotion. Use your pretty privilege to your advantage and always make sure that your inner beauty matches your outer beauty. Make sure that you're always remaining classy and feminine. One of the advantages that mixed women have is that we tend to be very feminine. I know this is not always the case, but one of the disadvantages of BWs is that a lot of them are very masculine, combative, and they have no control over their emotions. Not all of them are like that, but a lot of them have a hard time controlling their anger, and it ruins their opportunities. Us exoticals know how to be strategic. If someone makes me mad, I'm not going to punch them in the face and go to jail. I'm going to go out and be more successful than them. Success is the best revenge. Remember that, ladies. Be successful in how you look. Be successful in your career. Be successful with your hobbies and talents and relationships. Dress like you're going to see your worst enemy. Do you have bad friends? Go out and make friends with beautiful, confident women instead. Are you getting bullied at your job by jealous women? Success is the best revenge. Go get a better job that pays way more. Don't allow other people to dictate the course of your life. We don't have the victim mentality over here. We stay winning. Biracial Beckys for the win. Golden people are winning. Dark-skinned mixed women are winning. Keep the winner's mindset and don't let these other people teach you how to be a victim. Stay pretty, ladies.